Welcome to another episode of Monster Monday from the Ready to Die channel. This series explores the design of a creature I have built for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. The stat block for this creature can be found over on the Monster Monday blog, as well as the Twitter and Discord, all of which are linked below. I'm feeling better this week, got my voice back. So we're going to dive back into the fires and fairies of hell, not for a devilish denizen, but for the bile spewer. A few weeks ago, I built the Terminated Charger, and enough of you liked it that I decided to expand on my catalog of these creeping caustic critters. When I posted the Charger, I did receive a suggestion for the Spewer. As the next Terminated to build, and after some initial confusion with the Spitter, I managed to pull it all together. I still haven't played Helldivers, probably never will, so I turned to the Monster Monday Discord once more to figure out its level and they helped me settle on level 7 for what I have called the Terminated Spewer. I want to mention that there might be a few discrepancies between the original design and function of the Spewer and Helldivers, and how I managed to fit it into Pathfinder 2nd Edition. For now, the Spewer is simply a large animal, who of course uses the Terminated trait. Once again, it doesn't really play into any aspect of the Spewer's kit, but it's mostly feature-proofing for when I do inevitably do something that interacts with this trait. Perhaps when I finally get around to the Brood Commander or something like it. But until then, let's spew out the stats for this sinister insect. I'm going to start the numbers off by saying that the Spewer uses the Sniper Roadmap as a sort of guidelines, less rigid than I usually follow. This is mainly done to keep its design interesting, and because it is a ranged combatant translated over to Pathfinder. Much to the consternation of my good friend Blue, You're my boy, Blue! The Spewer uses a high dexterity to facilitate its ranged combat. I understand that they are big, bulky bugs, but the fact is that they are ranged, and I, at least, need that to make sense to me. I did concede to Blue at some point, such as when I gave it a constitution in between moderate and high, which might not be super apparent when we get down to its hit points. Just going down the line, then, it has a moderate strength, since it was pointed out to me that the Spewer can deal some damage when it is forced into melee. And then finally it has a low wisdom, which is its only positive mental score, since these are simple animals that are driven by the greater hive mind. I also surrendered to Blue on using a moderate perception for the Spewer, which will help it catch out enemies at a range to open bombardment on them. It has the standard acrobatics and athletic skills, both at a low value because it isn't terribly graceful, but is capable of balancing on treacherous terrain and clambering over it with ease. As I hinted at earlier, the Spewer's defenses may have a few points of interest. Its high armor class isn't too surprising, probably something to be expected between its shell and its dexterity, but its hit points are low, and this is partially due to the minimum but blanket physical resistance that I gave it based off of its protective carapace. Related to this, it also has a minimum resistance to acid, I originally gave it immunity to acid, because I figured it would have it given its usage, only to learn that that is not the case, and so I reduced it down to this. The Spewer's constitution does come into play when we start looking at saving throws, with it actually having a high fortitude. I had originally played into the sniper design using a high reflex, but was talked down into using a low reflex instead, which matches its low will save. This might make the Spewer a little too vulnerable, but I think that physical resilience still counts for something. Rounding out the numbers is, of course, the Spewer's attacks, and there's a bit to dig into here. We're even going to take a little look at one of its abilities to fully discuss the options here. But before that, we're going to start off simple, and that is with its claws and mandibles. Both of these melee strikes have a plus 16 attack bonus, which is moderate for its level, because its focus is, of course, on ranged combat. Now, given its focus on dexterity, these both use the finesse trait, and the claws also have the agile trait, which leads to them using moderate damage while its jaws, lacking this trait, have high damage. Honestly, these are both sort of secondary attacks. They're super basic, and in the Monster Mash, which unfortunately I can't post, I don't think I even use them. Instead, the Spewer has a much heavier focus on its Bile Blast. This is a ranged strike with a high attack bonus and moderate damage, though it is purely acid damage. 
It is a pretty simple effect, but there is more to it, which we can see with its artillery stance. The Terminate Spewer can adopt the stance as a single action, which immobilizes it and leaves it off guard. Totally worth it, right? But there is more to it. While in this stance, the Terminate Spewer doubles the range of its Bio Blast and increases its damage up to a high value. On top of that, it adds Volley 30 feet and Scatter 5 feet to its traits. The first of these is another debuff, but the latter is a buff. And all of it is based off of when the Bile Spear will sort of dig in, lift up its abdomen, and rain down acid from afar, turning itself into a bit of a mortar launcher. Helping it do this is Bile Bombardment, a 3 action activity that allows it to unleash a bigger blast, dealing limited use area damage at a high DC. It is worth noting that the Spewer has to be an artillery stance to use this effect, which effectively means it has to spend a total of 4 actions to pull this off. Honestly, it's probably not worth it in most cases. However, there is another part to this. The Spewer can form a firing squad with up to four more of its kin. This behaves a little bit like the Longhorn Bison's Rolling Thunder, from which I drew inspiration, where each member of this group can ready and then fire all at once. Where the Longhorn Bison each perform their own charge, this actually causes the Spewers to focus their fire to increase its effectiveness. Each participant beyond the first increases the range of the burst by 5 feet, as well as the DC, up to a maximum of an extreme DC. I obviously didn't want to go beyond that, which is why it does max out at this level, but it does give the Terminate Spewers a fun way to interact with each other and rain down on enemies from afar. And the Spewers do want the enemies to stay afar, because there is a minimum range at which this can be used. So, to prevent enemies from simply closing in, the spewers have Adhesive Acid. Apparently, Acid in Helldivers slows you down a bit, so this effect triggers when it either critically hits with an Acid Strike, or a creature critically fails against one of its Acid effects. When this does happen, the afflicted creature starts taking some minor persistent Acid damage, but more importantly, possibly, takes a penalty to speed for as long as they are taking that damage. Should enemies still manage to close that distance, there is the Spewer's Acid Stream. This is a pretty standard breath weapon effect, with a high DC, but unlimited use area damage, since this is the ability from which the Spewer derives its epithet. The main point of distinction for it is that it can either launch it in a line, which is how it looked to me when I was watching the videos on it, or in a cone, which is how some folks actually described it to me. Finally, when literally all else fails, Enemies that get too close to finish off the Spewer are subject to its Bile Burst. I originally looked at the Baylor as the only creature that I could remember that had a Death Throws effect like this, but I did find some more that let me bring this a little bit more in line with the more standard creatures. Since this is the most limited an ability can get, it uses that appropriate damage value, but only has a moderate save DC. In part, to hopefully keep a squad of Spewers all exploding and slaying each other since they have that low reflex save. The DC is also based on another creature that had a similar effect. But otherwise, this is just the Spewer given a good old send off. And with that, we've got another Terminate in the tank. This butt ugly beetle bombards brigands with bombshells before belching out blasts of bile to burn and blister. I really love designing sniper-type monsters, it's just a lot of fun to me for some reason. And this one was no different, even if some people <coughs> criticized my general design. I have been having a ton of fun building some buggy baddies, and I will no doubt do more in the future. Until then, a spewer and charger are close enough in level that they can represent a serious threat, especially with the ability of the latter to keep the heroes from reaching the former putting them at optimal range for the Spewer to lay down some Bile Bombardment. Be sure to let me know what you think of this creature and what other sorts of creatures you'd like to see down in a comment. You can check out other versions of this creature or the other monsters I've made over on the Monster Monday blog, Twitter, or Discord, which are all linked below. Thanks for watching, and have a monstrous Monday.